we often talk about the need for the United States to reassure allies and partners about the U.S. commitment. But just as important, especially from the United States perspective, is that our partners are fully committed to their own self-defense, to their own welfare. And improving uh, defense in Taiwan starts with creating and showing the political commitment uh, that you're willing to defend your interests. And there's nothing more obvious than increasing the conscription length back to a year. Patrick, as a longtime Korea expert, um, can you talk about how this compares to Korea, South Korea's conscription? Obviously, South Korea has to continue to deter North Korea from attacking South Korea, and that threat is growing. At the same time, South Korea is uh, just issued a new Indo-Pacific strategy to show that it is truly a global pivotal state. I think Taiwan also has to focus first and foremost on deterrence and peace across the Taiwan Strait, but it can play a larger role too. I think the conscription length uh, is not sufficient, to be honest. I think it, it's an important step, maybe the crucial first step back uh, toward a, a serious conscription that shows Taiwan is committed. But, you know, in, in Korea, there's a longer length of conscription. In terms of Taiwan having a larger global role, President Tsai also mentioned in the announcement that Russia is increasing its military capabilities, posing a, a threat to the global security order. Do you see Taiwan's role increase with this announcement? Well, Taiwan does play a global role, as we know, uh, just through semiconductors alone being so critical the production comes largely out of Taiwan for all the high-end semiconductors. But beyond that, Taiwan plays a crucial role as a major developed economy and a democracy. Uh, when you're dealing with a major outlaw action like Russia's invasion of Ukraine, there's a role for a, a lot of states, including uh, a role for Taiwan to play in supporting uh, the humanitarian needs, the economic needs, uh, the technological needs. Uh, of those trying to defend against aggression, in this case, Russian aggression. I don't think Taiwan wants to make uh, an enemy directly of anybody, including Russia, but at the same time, uh, it has a high stake in the rules-based order. And that means uh, putting down the lawlessness and brutal attack of countries like uh, Russia is an interest uh, and a capability uh, for Taiwan uh, that it can help support. Speaking of Russia, with the Russian invasion of Ukraine, how do you draw comparisons between Taiwan and Ukraine, given Ukraine's show of its determination to defend the homeland? I think there's no, uh, again, more important indicator of the ability to uh, execute your own self-defense to convince the world, the international community, that your cause is not a lost one, but one that can be supported and that for you're going to find ready support, not just from the United States and Europe, but from around the world, if you are the victim of aggression. And I think Ukraine, uh, so clearly the victim of major aggression this past February when the Russians invaded Ukraine, uh, and at the same time, the willingness for the Ukrainians to step in and fight, regardless of the enormous and, and tremendous costs and tragedy, um, uh, really galvanize the international community around Ukraine. And I think for Taiwan, uh, things like the action of uh, a year-long conscription being reenacted is something that will demonstrate to the world that if, you, if Taiwan is ever attacked, um, it will have uh, the international community support uh, against that aggression. Patrick, you mentioned that this is a first significant step. What's next? Well, I think there's a larger uh, ethos or mindset change underway in Taiwan right now that President Tsai is trying to uh, implement. And I think it has to deal with the fact that the territorial um, uh, defense, the, the economic security of Taiwan, the political security of Taiwan, uh, first and foremost, is a Taiwan matter. Uh, and that therefore, uh, you know, conscription shows that they're willing to uh, do their bit in terms of uniform and, and, and provide fill critical gaps in military personnel, but they need to, through civil defense training, through greater economic security uh, policies, make sure they have the resilient economy, uh, a ready civil defense, and also a more ready uh, defense against aggression, to not take the offense against uh, any, any aggressor, but rather to make sure they can defend Taiwan territory.